how to create a colourful checkerboard effect in Affinity Photo using the procedural texture filter. Create a layer, fill it with black. Go to Filters and now to Colours and Procedural Texture. Go to the presets at the top, then go down to Checkered. And you've got your black and white standard checkerboard. What I'm going to now do, instead of C there, I'm going to go for C1. Now, of course, there isn't a C1 for the custom inputs. And I'm going to go for C2. So I've got now to add a C1 there, and I'm just going to add another Z. So you've got a Z for custom input, another Z there, I'm going to call that C2. Make that 25. So it's back to the same as before. What I also got, I've got R, G and B along there. That's the colour channels. And I'm going to split that. So I'm just going to go to the plus here, and I'm just going to go plus and plus. And I'm just going to spread that over to the other lines. Now at the moment it doesn't mean anything because you've got R, G and B at the top. What I want is I want to deselect those. I want to deselect that A as well. So I've got A all deselected. The G and B are deselected now. Now what I want to do is put that one, the G, to be green channel and that one blue. So I've got it back exactly the same as before but it's been split across channels. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply that. So say times and this is going to reduce the white, so 0 0.5. So you've got the there the white is suddenly slightly reduced. So times um, 0 0.2. So it's reducing it again. So it would go obviously towards the black. So if I were all zeros, times zero, make it all black. So times 0 0.7. And you've got that, that result there. And that's just changing those ones. And you can vary it, of course. You can turn around and say, oh, I don't want that. I want... 0.2 or 0.9 also you can change the black as well so just go over here and say plus 0.6 so that changes that also it changes obviously the original white as well plus 0.3 or I'm going to change that to 0.6 maybe go for minus 0.2 so you can do it the other way as well you don't have to have it plus 0.3, it could be minus 0.6. So you can just reduce that down and so on and so on. So you can now see you've got these colours. And also what you can do, you can change here as well. So instead of having them equal, you can go for 12, maybe go for 45. Create a whole range of different designs, maybe 90. And you've got these. Now what you can also do is you could, if you want, just go to, let's say, that 0.4. And you could go and say, well, I want to call that A. So obviously at the moment there isn't any A, but I can go down here. And I'm not going to do them all. But I can go and say R, click the R, and I'm going to create an A. And I'm going to say that is going to be 0.2. So you can make a, a parameter there that you can change, custom input. And you could do the same, of course, for the other ones as well, 0.2, etc. They could always become B, C, as well as D, E, and F. Just click the R just to add them. Once you've done that, what you can do, you can save the preset. So you can simply go up to here, you've got presets here, you just click there and create preset, and you can just go and give it a name. Color checkerboard, and give it maybe in color patterns, and create, and you've saved it, and then you can bring it back at any time. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.